when we start looking for our ancestors and diving into those genealogy records, well, we're going to make mistakes, right? But let's avoid making some of these common mistakes that I often see with genealogy research. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa. If you're brand new here, this channel focuses on helping you to find your ancestors, grow your family tree, and not be overwhelmed in the process. Okay guys, genealogy mistakes happen. And these common genealogy, genealogy mistakes I'm going to share with you, well, I've made every one of them. Mistake number one. One of the biggest and most common mistakes that early genealogy researchers and family historians make is, well, making assumptions about the individuals they're researching. One of the first steps when it comes to genealogy research is oral history. A lot of us have been hearing stories as we grew up or as we've sought them out in our research. But when it comes to oral history, question everything. Now with oral history, by nature that the stories are passed from person to person to person and down the generations, you know, variations start to occur. New takes, new perspectives are kind of added into the story. And so, Yes, we know that oral history is not necessarily always correct. Certainly not 100% correct. But often there is an element of truth in that history. And so it is important to continue to gather. But we have to question, well, pretty much everything at some point. So what does that look like? I made a very big incorrect assumption about my fourth great grandparents. Now, I know who they are. I know their names. In fact, my fourth great grandmother is even mentioned in my fifth great grandfather's will, as well as the children. So I had a lot of information about them. The thing was, I couldn't get any further back on her line because things just weren't adding up. And so I started questioning things, but I never could make progress until I accidentally fell upon a record the basement of a courthouse and I realized I've made the entirely incorrect assumption that my fourth great grandparents actually married. They never got married. Turns out this was actually commonly known in the community that I found out later. They never married. But that piece of the story on the oral history had gotten left out, as you can imagine. But once I realized that I had made that incorrect assumption, I determined they had not married, the research started to open up. And so I let myself get stalled out because I expected my ancestors to do the, I guess what we think of as the normal at the time, but our ancestors were people. And so we need to make sure we're considering all possibilities when it comes to researching them. Now, if you have ever made an incorrect assumption in your genealogy research, let me know about it down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you've done and we can learn from each other. Mistake number two, going too fast. A very simple mistake to correct that many genealogists make, particularly early in, our, in the research, is really just researching too fast and not taking time with the records to really fully understand what information is being given to you in that record. Now, finding ancestors in a record is exciting. I could understand that completely. In fact, after all these years of researching, I still get a thrill when I get that new record with an ancestor in it. Because you know, the genealogy dance is real. But what happens is we get so excited and we rush through that record because we were like, we got one, we need to get another one. It's a little addicting. You know, we found her in one document. Let's go to the next document. Let's look for another document. And that kind of perpetuates itself, but it does cause a big problem in our research. It causes a big problem in our research because we are at risk of overlooking a vital clue or clues that could lead us to other records and can help us to be build a more solid family tree. Always remember that those records that we research in genealogy, they were created for a reason. So it's crucial when you find your ancestor in a record, make sure you understand the reason that record was created at that time and what type of information it can provide. That can help point you to other records 
that your ancestor could appear in so that you're not just kind of going off haphazardly to find that next record. You can find the clues there to help you take you to that next level. Mistake number three, not checking genealogy databases for updates. Do you regularly go back and recheck genealogy databases and, and any other type of database that you use in your research for possible updates? The major databases of Ancestry.com, Find My Past, Family Search, My Heritage are all being updated and putting out new record collections online for us to use. Sign up for their email list so that you can be notified when their new collections come out or if they have updated an older collection. But if you are on their email list, then you will receive an email and you'll know what is new and when it is available. Now remember, state and local archives are also digitized, have digitization projects and are putting things online as well and updating them. Genealogy societies are doing it. Cemetery sites like Find a Grave and CemeteryCensus.com are doing it as well. So anything that you use regularly, go back periodically and check to see what has been updated. And if possible, get on their mailing list because then you'll be notified. Put a reminder on your calendar for every few months to go back and check websites that you use frequently for any possible updates to their digital collections. Your brick wall buster could be only one digitized record away. Now, if you're enjoying learning about how to avoid common genealogy mistakes, hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner and you'll be notified of new videos when I post them here on the Are You My Cousin YouTube channel. Mistake number four, not going back to your previous or earlier research and re reviewing it again. If you are stuck researching your ancestor, if you've hit that genealogy brick wall, I'm gonna recommend that you stop what you're doing and you go back to the very beginning of your research. I want you to put away all preconceived notions of what you think you know about that particular ancestor. And essentially start over. I want you to gather your records and I want you to reanalyze all your information that you already have. Now, why would I want you to start over? When you have been tracing an ancestor for any length of time, and people tell me they have brick walls that have lasted 20 years, 20, 30 years. If you've been researching genealogy for 30 years or 20 years or 10 years or five years, you are not the same genealogy researcher that you were at the beginning. Your skills are much better. You have improved, you have learned. And if you go back to your early research and start reanalyzing it, you have a fresh perspective. You're not doing it from a new genealogy researcher perspective. You're doing it from a seasoned and an experienced genealogy researcher perspective. You can start to pick up clues that you might have missed or maybe just were not even evident at the time because you were so early in your research, but you've done a lot in the meantime. And you may now be able to recognize some important clues that kind of pop up or maybe individuals that pop up that you didn't necessarily take notice of at that time because you didn't have enough background. So when you're stuck, go back to the beginning. Now, if you want to learn more about how to find your ancestors and avoid common mistakes, watch one of these videos up on the screen.